Good morning, everyone. It's Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. Today I'm over at Trilogy Sunstone by Shea Holmes, a new 55 plus retirement community here in the northwest side of the valley. I have done a video on Trilogy and I've also done a video on all the model homes. My clients, we just did a frame walkthrough of my client's home. They got the dream model which is part of the 40 Freedom 35 collection. It has 1648 square feet, two beds, a den, and two baths, and a two car garage. So when we do frame walkthrough, we go through every inch of the house, see where all the plumbing is, the electrical, the insulation, and all that good stuff. So we're gonna go through the garage first. I'll go over everything. Right here is gonna be your fire sprinkler system and then your main water line. They paid extra money to have this hole inside of the garage insulated. Then you're gonna have, um, these are just your water lines right there. I think that's the sewer line and then your electrical line right here. Tankless water heater and it's plumbed for a water softener loop. It's always nice to see where everything is located in the house. So as you walk in from the garage, you come right into the kitchen and it's a nice open floor plan. You have your dining room right here and then your living room right there or family room, your pantry, the refrigerator is going to go right there. The wall oven and microwave is going to go right there. And then you're going to have your cooktop with vent hood right here. And along the island is going to be the sink and dishwasher. You have the smart tubing right here for your TV to hang on the wall. And they went with just a standard slider, which is fine, and then the window. That way you can utilize the space better when it comes to placing your furniture. They have the can lighting and also the lighting or the ceiling fan, fan pre-wire. And there's also three pendant lights up here. So the nice thing, it hasn't been once we do the frame walkthrough, they're going to insulate the home. So right here, they're going to spray in some insulation into these little white cloth things um, to make it even more insulated. And then once the insulation's up, they will do drywall. So right here is your primary bedroom. There's going to be a linen closet right here with the smart panel. And they have four can lights with the pre-wire for the ceiling fan. Now when you buy new construction, especially when you buy from the ground up, my clients bought this back in March. We're supposed to be done by the end of this year. You have what's called an electrical package and you pick in this electrical package what extra options or features you want, like the extra can lighting. Um, most of these builders only provide the pre-wire for the ceiling fan in the great room and the primary bedroom. Everywhere else is extra. Um, and the point of doing these walkthroughs is not only to see where all the wiring is, but to see where the studs are for future references. So then you go into the primary bathroom and you're gonna have a double vanity right here with the hot and cold, and then also a nice shower and since this home has fire sprinklers, which is the orange tubing, right here is the fire sprinkler line. Every time the master or primary tub, not sorry, primary toilet gets flushed, it flushes out through the sprinkler line so that way that it just cleanses it out and there's no standing water at all times. Just FYI on that. And then you're going to have your toilet right here. Then the primary closet, which is a decent size, with two can lights in it. Now the fire sprinklers typically will not go off until 
the area is reaching about 155 degrees and it will not go off all over the house. It'll only go off in the area where the fire sprinkler is. Now, I don't remember exactly what the HOA is for this community. I know it's going to be, after it's all said and done, over $400. If you want to learn more information, I've posted a link down in the description to my website about this community. Or you can always watch my video on YouTube that I did about Trilogy. So this is the den, and it's going to have four can lights, which is a very decent sized den. Then you walk back, here's the front door. You're gonna have a bedroom here, the bathroom and the laundry room. So again, this is a two bedroom house with a den. Your washer is gonna go there, dryer is gonna go there. And this is only a one sink with the toilet and then they have a shower here. I really like this community, the Kabachin Club, which is the clubhouse just recently opened up. Um, and for the first phase, the second phase, there's gonna be more to it, but right now the gym is open and so is like this, um, I forget, the Kinder Care, where it's like a breakfast bar where they have some food, sandwiches, and coffee. We'll go start in the backyard and then work our way on the side. So when you buy new construction, the front yard comes landscape, but the backyard does not. This one has four can lights and it's gonna have pavers here. The rest of the yard is gonna be a desert landscaping. I do believe here at Trilogy Sunstone, you can buy a landscaping package, but my clients opted out for not having that. So we'll go to the side first of the house. The nice thing is, is they're in the corner lot, so they're gonna always have these beautiful mountain views. Look how beautiful it is. And they're super close to the clubhouse, which is very nice too. Walking distance from the clubhouse. This is nine feet wide. You're gonna have a water spigot right there, and there's gonna be a gate right there as well. So that's it for the, that side of the house. I just recently sold two more homes in this community. I sold two of the attached townhomes. Looking forward to selling those. And then on the side of the house, this is where everything else is located. You're gonna have your AC lines right here, your condenser units, and when you buy in this community, Trilogy Sunstone, they come with elect or solar. So you have the option of buying the solar outright, the solar panels, or you have the option of leasing the solar panels. I always recommend one of the units, solar units is gonna go here, and I do believe the other solar unit is gonna go there. This is also extra to have the side garage door. Um, it's always better to lease the solar, I mean, sorry, purchase the solar, then lease it. Because usually if you don't live in the house for a long time and you sell it, then the new buyer has to take over the lease. Uh, your water spigot, your gas line's gonna go there. I think your sprinkler line's gonna go there. Yeah, it's exciting. It was nice to come out here today. Um, so to surmise, this is the Freedom 35 collection. Dream, 1648 square feet with two beds and a den, two baths, and a two car garage. So, right there, like I mentioned, look at that can floating by. This is going to be the lawn area, they're going to have the pool right there, and then the clubhouse is right there. I mean, I think this is a great lot, it's a corner lot, it's awesome. If you're thinking about buying new construction in this community or in Vegas in general, I sell a lot of new construction across the valley. You can always give me a call at 702-370-5112. Real quick, I want to show you what the insulation looks like uh, while we're talking about it and while I'm still here. <laughs> Sorry, I was ending it a little prematurely. So this is what the insulation looks like in the garage. 
and then they'll put this little batting kind of thing over it. No, that doesn't stay like that. This is from the inside. So since this is from the inside, they have this type of insulation, but since this is part of the outside of the garage, they're gonna have this type of insulation. And that's what it looks like in the garage. Inside the house, I forget what he called this. It's some sort of um, procedure to get that type of insulation. But then if you look at the inside the roof, how it's full, they blew all that stuff into here as well. Okay guys, this is actually the same model as my clients, just a little further along. I'm gonna end it here. Just don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Peace out.